Hey there, it's Mark from Men Who Bullet. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Men Who Bullet. So another bullet journal is complete. We made it from March until October, and I wanted to just take a quick run through and check out what I did earlier this year. So first things first, of course, the index. I live and breathe by the index. It's always going to be the number one thing I talk about. I call it the heart of the bullet journal system. The future log I had in here, pretty simple. Did some coloring early on with some events that were going on for the kids. But overall, very simple. Did its job. Move into March. So this is the first spread of this bullet journal. I was trying out some different things with lettering and some kind of like light gray numbers that were on here. I like this one pretty well for a one pager. My Instagram follow tracker, I love doing these. It's just a really great way to track something that is of interest to me, which is consistently growing my Instagram count there. So this was one that took us from uh, 7.1 to 8. March, this was one of the times when I couldn't make up my mind. So I put this out on Instagram as a poll and let everyone pick what was going to be there, including the little monkey in the top corner, which thanks and shout out to Nicole from Plans That Blossom for that one there. Tracking through sleep, also a music tracker and some stickers. Uh, I really did actually enjoy this one, to tell you the absolute truth. Just a lot that went into it. April, I just did a quick letter and some circles. I don't know what I was going for here, but you know, it was there. Another one page spread. This is kind of a bad continuation of the previous week. I was still using some washi here and some quotes and I tried to do the music tracker, but did not keep up with that at all. In April here, I really like this one. I really loved working with this font. Uh, and just these general layouts here. I, I like to play around with those, see what's going on, keep some notes. This is a one page spread that I really enjoy, just a running list. I do these quite a bit, honestly. I haven't done them in a while though, but tracking through sleep. Again, song of the day. I just like looking back on the songs I was listening to. This is just a real quick thing. I probably had no time to plan, just threw something out there. So just to go to show, you don't need to spend a lot of time on it to make it work. For this week here, again, keeping events on the left and tracking uh, the list there on the right hand side. This works, it's functional, but not a lot of space. That's something I learned as I went through these. This is a double page spread. You see this, I use this template a lot to be very honest with you. I was trying something there at the bottom where I was tracking a four by four. And this is just the idea of you know, taking time to breathe throughout the day and, and taking time for some daily gratitude. So one pager, something real quick. I don't know, I just wanted to experiment with some mountain and some shading and trying to get into that a little bit. This is my May, this is probably the easiest one I've done, right? It's just circles and squares with some lettering, but very easy, very to the point, tracking list on the right hand side. This, this is probably the fanciest I've gotten in any of my pages. And on the right was a mid-year tracker that I did. And um, there's a little picture of me there, but tracking through mid-years. And uh, since I use my bullet journal for work, it was super important. June one page spread. This is pretty self-explanatory. Trying with some of these lines and shading, uh, keeping it simple. Another one page spread here. Again, I just like fooling with different like modules with my bullet journal. So sometimes you'll see the running track list and trying different ways of doing it. In this case, I was again, messing with washi a little bit and trying some different layouts that I was seeing um, and inspired by, again, I bought a bunch of washi and, and I don't use it a lot, but every now and again, I like to play around with it. This is my July tracker. So this is where <laughs> I talk about, um, I like lettering, but then I don't like tracking things. I was trying to track how many times I was playing golf or practicing and then how many times I was running. And as you can see, I made it, what, a week in and then I stopped tracking. It's just, I'm just not good with monthly trackers. That's just the truth of it all. This was a, a fun spread. A lot of people are like, I've never thought about doing this, but um, I only had two days of work that week before I was going on vacation. So I just created a short little spread that covered me for those few days. This is my first experimentation with a fold. I, I couldn't cut the paper. I don't know. I'm very funny about that, but um, you know, I tried it. And so usually when that happens, I go back to a one page spread like I did here and just messing with some patterns and some lines in the days of the week. It's pretty self explanatory. This was my August page. I really like this one. I was trying to go for like a monkey or something. This is my big Instagram tracker. This took me from uh, 8.1 to 10,000, which I still can't believe that I'm there. I'm so grateful for all of the followers on Instagram. 
the back at it spread, this was I think after some time off and I was like, nope, time to get back into the swing of things. It was after vacation. So just having some fun. I don't think I've ever done anything like that before. It's another August running list. Big fan of the one pagers. It just works for me sometimes. This paid spread was done after visiting a modern art museum in DC. So I get really super inspired by that. And speaking of DC, uh, this was a spread that I did after I got some of this washi tape from Appointed uh, in Washington, DC. So I was excited to try that out in there and it worked well. The September spread, trying some doodles and some lettering. Every now and again, I get a little doodly. This September spread was involved. Um, so a little secret here that all of those black boxes, I was trying to do something else with and whatever I was trying to do did not work out. So I just went over it with the Sharpie and drew over top of it and it worked out pretty well. This is probably one of my favorite spreads that I did all year long. Um, I just really liked the way that it looked. It blocked out. There was enough space throughout the week. Here's the hashtag page. So this will definitely be coming with me to my next bullet journal, but I just documented all the different hashtags that I use or that I've seen on Instagram. Of course, men who bullet being the most important one. Then in October, I was trying some different lettering here and you can obviously see a little scratch page for some of the new Faber-Castell markers and pens that I got. But this is just a very minimalistic approach to October. I focused a lot more on those letters than anything else. Then we're getting to right about where we are now, which is October. This was a whole spread that was kind of inspired by the open sticker on the right, but just kind of go with those neon signs and building that into the center of the page and then up to date to where we are now, which was a very Halloween-y spread, very much outside of my normal practice, but all fun and game. So there we have it. Got probably 10, 15 pages left inside this journal, which I might finish out and then be moving on to my new baby, which is the Archer and Olive uh, 192 page bullet journal that I just got. So we'll be spending more time with that in the very near future. Thanks so much for checking everything out. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at menwhobullet and also make sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos in the very near future.